Are you sure that Elizabeth went back to work already? I saw there myself. Big as life, answering phones, mucking about with charts like life is but a dream, and she never tried to kill me. She won. It wasn't intentional. No, as far as I'm concerned, Elizabeth has suffered no consequences whatsoever. But let's just say that you and all of Elizabeth's defenders are right, and that she injected me with the wrong meds on accident because she was emotionally fragile, which is a joke, by the way. But even if it's true, she shouldn't be back at work two weeks later like, like nothing ever happened. Any more than you should be up and around and, you know... And what? Making trouble? Are you serious about refiling the malpractice suit? Well, it's my duty, isn't it? I could be saving the life of the next innocent patient who has the unfortunate bad luck of winding up in Elizabeth's OR. Look, I know you're... I know you're terrible at doing nothing. To pick up a paintbrush. Where is this coming from? You used to love painting. <sighs> Lizzie, take this unexpected gift of time and use it to get recentered. I'm not feeling very artistic these days. You shouldn't be at work. It's too soon. Okay, I, I know where you're coming from. You don't trust me around I, patients. And I completely understand. I don't blame you. It's but not you don't a, have to worry. I'm strictly clear. It's not right a matter now. of trust. You're pushing yourself way too hard. You know what happened the last time you did that? You made a mistake that could have been fatal. And thank God nobody died. But it's reckless to tempt fate again. It's different this time. There's and cameras. right now, Lucky needs me here. That makes it even worse. I just, I, I feel like I'm all on my own on this, Lucky. Okay. Like, no one is on my side. Calm down, all right? I, I think Elizabeth got herself reinstated to help me with a case I'm working on. Oh, really? I didn't realize that Elizabeth had a second career as a policewoman. Although, I guess that would explain the distraction. The department is looking into a drug theft situation which appears to originate from General Hospital. Now, I told Elizabeth about it. I didn't specifically ask her to go back to work immediately, but I did ask for her help. Okay, I I'm sorry. Can we forget about Elizabeth for a moment and go to the part where you're investigating a, a drug theft? Yeah, what about it? W what about it? You're a recovering addict. Prescription pills were the drug of your choice. And you're still reeling from your son's death and from your father's responsibility and disappearance. None of that affects my ability to perform my job. This is me you're talking to, Lucky. Why in God's name would you put yourself in a situation that would tempt you to use? Lucky's working on an investigation that might involve the hospital. In what way? I can't tell you anything more than that. Why are you so concerned with Lucky's police business? Because he needs somebody, a staff member, to look out for things. Things? Yeah, you know, like suspicious behavior and just, just things. Why are you looking at me like that? This is a positive step for me. How? Well, being able to help Lucky for a change makes me feel good and... Being involved in a police investigation is out of the norm but and kind I'd of I'd be concerned enough if you were using work as a crutch or if you truly believe you should be back here when clearly you shouldn't be. But coming back as a way to make yourself important to Lucky Ratch is way beyond concern straight up to alarm. He's my friend. Why is it so wrong to want to help him out? Okay, look, I see what you're doing. I know what you're doing. You, helping Lucky out is another way for you to stay connected with him, and that's not healthy for uh -huh. any one of you. Why can't you just be happy I'm whole and functioning? Because you're not. I'm not the chief of staff anymore, and I can't block your reinstatement. I am asking you, please, reconsider. You know, I'm working the program. You know, relapse is not in the game plan. I, I admit, I, I don't know that much about recovery. But doesn't your program encourage you to stay away from situations that could prove... I wouldn't be much use to the department if I avoided every investigation that involved drugs, would I? It sounds like you're working overtime to rationalize taking on this assignment. What concerns me is why... Well, I'm, not, I'm not rationalizing anything, Siobhan. I'm just explaining the reality of my situation. Poor Charles is teeming with mobsters. <sighs> I'm sure that there's a very nice murder that he's uh, investigating. I won't ask to be relieved of my duty. Because it's tailor-made for personal destruction. You've taken a beating, emotionally speaking, and you're, you're definitely your father's son. Why are you going to tempt fate by, by, by taking on this drug case? Thanks for the vote of confidence. You're not listening to me, Lucky. 
I am afraid for you. And I'm afraid for myself as well, I'll admit it. The first step down the slippery slope into drugs, the next step back into Elizabeth's arms, and I, I don't want to see that happen. I don't want to lose you. Certainly not to your addiction, and definitely not to your ex-wife. Siobhan, I appreciate your concern. Okay? I really do. But you're the one who's not listening to me. I don't duck cases. Even when they're difficult. Well, I'm not going to stand here and be a hypocrite and tell you that I think it's okay. Hey. Hey, what's up? Well, I wanted to tell you something. Let me guess. You got reinstated back at GH. <laughs> yes. Did Siobhan tell you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I figured she would. She was pretty mad. Look, Elizabeth, I, I really appreciate your willingness to help with the case, but I also understand Siobhan's frustration. I mean, you were out of work all of, what, two weeks, and now all of a sudden you're back like nothing ever happened, and I you know. need to give her some time. You don't have to make excuses for her or defend her, and the last thing I want to do is put you in the middle, but I want you to know that I'm not going to waste my time trying to placate her. You need my help, and I'm going to give it to you. Robin asked me to come back and work the desk. I know I'm not ready to treat patients yet. You know, you made a mistake. It doesn't make you murderous Nurse Weber or something. In this way, I can prove myself incrementally. Well, if it's a good move for you, then I support it. Thank you. And it's good for you, too, because I can keep my eye on things and maybe gather some information for your investigation. Yeah, I just, I, I, I want you to be careful. I don't want you to get too involved. Lucky. I'm in a position to help you. Just let me do it, okay? I know, but it, it could get dangerous. For you. And maybe the better I can help you, the sooner you can be done with this and into something safer. There's no such thing in police work. You're not really comforting me. Well, you're not comforting me. I mean, you're going into you this thing. You have a little faith in me. I have faith in you. <sighs> That's fair. <laughs> okay, well, at least I'll have an inside track. Okay. So what now? Well, I, uh... I'm supposed to meet up with my old dealer on the docks in about a half an hour. And uh, I'll make a score. And, and then I'll track the pills back to their point of origin, see if it leads me to GH. Okay. Let me know if, uh, if I can do anything. That's all? That's it? You're expecting something else? You're not going to tell me you're concerned that I'm going to use the drugs I buy. Look at you. I told you I have faith in you. I do. I understand you're in need of some pharmaceutical assistance. I might be able to help. Like a word? I don't have time. Make time. It's about Lucky. Isn't it always? He could be headed for serious trouble if he gets involved investigating this drug trafficking case. And that's for you to decide because... I realize that things become less interesting when it's not about you. So maybe if you love Lucky, you could slide off your high horse and listen to what I have to say. I'm still here. Lucky is in a vulnerable place right now. He's not in the right frame of mind to be putting himself in the way of temptation. And what do you think is going to happen? You think he's going to start using again? Aging Dr. Katie I think Aging it's a very real possibility. Mm -hmm. Well, Lucky and I have already spoken about it, and he feels fine with taking on the case, so unlike you, I have complete faith in him. Oh, you selfish little twit! You would have Lucky destroy himself, his sobriety, everything that he's worked to regain all these years, just so that you can have your protector back. <sighs> so you don't have to walk across the street without Lucky there to hold Come your on, hand. That is not true. You would rather that he actually go back on the drugs. What? Get Lucky's resistance down far enough where he might actually lose his mind and go back to you. I mean, who cares if he gets decimated in the process as long as Elizabeth gets what she wants? You don't even know me. You are such a sad excuse for a human being. You don't care about anyone but yourself. That is not true. You connive. I don't even care if it's subconsciously or not, which I, I doubt. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm not the one who cornered Lucky into a, a marriage to get a green card. We're trying to make a go of something. That's not why people get married. And sometimes there's people who get married for what they think are the right reasons. And they end up not staying married. Or they should have never been married in the first place. 
Lucky and I were in love. Oh, but things changed. People change. Or at least Lucky did. Drugs changed him. Well, if you couldn't keep him off the drugs back then, what makes you think that you can now? Because I've changed. <laughs> I don't think so. You are still way too self-involved. As a matter of fact, you were so involved with your DNA test results, you couldn't be bothered to keep an eye on your own kid. That's not what happened. Is it? Is that the guilt that keeps you awake at night? The guilt that kept you so distracted that you gave me the wrong meds and the OR? You were so cruel. And so were you. You were standing there with your little triumphant lab report ready to plan your next attack on Lucky. And then you took your eye off your kid and he died. That is not what happened. It is not my fault. He was my son and I loved him. Mm, you love you. You just don't understand. Try me. Lucky saved me once when no one else could. Mm. So now you want to play savior and have him come back to you. No. Why don't you just save your phony emotions for Lucky? I'm sure that in the end, that's how you reel him back in. investigation. Really? Thank you. Thanks for that confidence, brother. Thank me for my insight. Lucky, you just lost a son. And then our father hit him, and then our father ran off, probably with a bottle in each hand. And then our sister dropped everything to go chase after him. And then you got match happy. Torched your old family house. And oh yeah, who could forget your new wife almost burning up inside and then almost dying on an operating table. I don't think you're in the right headspace to be dealing with this kind of case. I don't need to be in the right headspace. It's a case. I'm a cop. But Elizabeth isn't. Okay? And she's been through so much recently. I mean, now you got a rope into your investigation being your eyes and ears at the hospital. How do you know that? Huh? Okay. Whatever. The point is, this is good for her. It gives her something to focus on. No, it's just adding pressure for her. Or is that what you want? Do you want the two of you to crash and burn in spectacular fashion together? You were an addict. I know what I was. But I am. I just want to keep people from winding up like me. Really? Or is this just a nice excuse to pop a few more pills and smooth out the rough edges? I don't need to be smoother now. Yeah, like hell you don't. You want to go now? I want to help you, Lucky. Ethan, I don't want your help, and I don't need your help. Now, how the hell did you find out about this in the first place? 